Hey guys, welcome to a new video. In today's video, we'll be talking about affordable skincare from Target, as you guys can tell from the title. So I did a poll on my community page and asked you guys what video you guys would want to see from Walmart or Target, and Target was a clear winner. So I'm excited to finally be sitting down to make this video for you guys. This video is for all skin types, so every skin type is welcome. I'm going to start with oily skin, and then we're going to go all the way through sensitive skin. Sensitive skin is really not a skin type. It's a skin type that kind of develops after using some products, your skin kind of is sensitized to a few ingredients so therefore sensitized skin the major skin types are oily combination and dry and then normal skin but we're obviously not going to talk about normal skin because your skin can just handle a lot they just the lucky few the lucky bitches the lucky motherfuckers okay i'm not gonna get demonetized all right you guys without further ado we're gonna get into this video but before that are you subscribed are you part of the family? I'm a skincare chemist that chats about skincare, back end, front end of all things skincare. So please like the video, join the family. We're here every week talking about skincare. You do not want to not be a part of this family. We welcome every skin type, every race, every color, every religion. Everybody's welcome, okay? Let's just have fun while talking about skincare. Why not? All right, let's get into this video. So starting with dry skin, this is the first skin type in my notes today. We're going to go dry skin, oily skin, combination skin, and then sensitive skin. So dry skin. What's the issue with dry skin? Dry skin is flaky. It has a lot of fine lines that could develop really easily because of how dry the skin type is. Pores, however, are not very visible because there's not a lot of oil. It has very underperforming sebaceous glands, so it's not producing a lot of oil. It gets really irritated as well and clearly has a damaged skin barrier. So for this skin type, we need a lot of ceramides and a lot of hydrating ingredients. So that's the preface on dry skin. Now we're going to get into the products that are going to help fix all of these things that we now know about dry skin right so i walked into target and target had a lot of skincare products oh my god it was so overwhelming but thankfully i was able to find a few products that i loved and i'll recommend to you guys today i'll talk about cleansers moisturizers and serums for some of them there'll be two some of them there'll be one i think some of them i even got up to three but i think that's the most that i went but um for this one for the cleansers for dry skin the first product i love at target was this one called the la roche Posay gentle cleanser this one resells for $14.99 for 13 ounce this one removes some oil and also maintains the skin barrier like we know dry skin has the damaged skin barrier so we do want to maintain that barrier so it doesn't further break down this one also has no fragrance so this is for my no fragrance lovers if you don't like fragrance you would love this product it also contains ceramides and niacinamide and niacinamide as we know is great for hyperpigmentation renewing the skin improving skin texture which we need for dry skin and ceramides obviously to repair that skin barrier that's been broken so this is a lovely lovely product for dry skin the second cleanser i'm going to recommend today is neutrogena hydro boost cleanser this one is 7.99 and it's a six ounce bottle this one has fragrance so if you don't like fragrance definitely go for the la roche posay product this one has hyaluric acid which is great for hydrating we need a lot of hydration for this skin type so hyaluric acid for this skin type is amazing it has a lot of moisture ingredients in the ingredient list and it really just helps lock in moisture in the skin i think this is a really 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 amazing product for people that suffer from dry skin i'm moving on to moisturizers for dry skin i'm going to be recommending three moisturizers for dry skin for different reasons which you guys will find out as we talk about them the first one i'm going to talk about is the honest beauty hydrogel cream this one is retailing for 20 dollars. it has no fragrance so for my no fragrance lovers this one has choline which is a great emollient it helps cover the skin barrier to lock in moisture so since we're going to be using a lot of hydrators like hyaluronic acid and a bunch of hydrators for this skin type you need something that will lock in that moisture and choline is amazing for that it has vitamin e it has some hyaluronates that holds its weight 1,000 times on water and it's squalene that will walk in that moisture. Chef's kiss if you ask me. Second product I want to recommend here is the Neutrogena Deep Moisture Night Cream with Glycerine and Shea Butter. Oh, love Shea Butter. This one retails for $10.99. This one does have fragrance, so if you don't like fragrance, I would go with the first option. This one also has Shea Butter, like I mentioned, and Shea Butter is an amazing emollient to help seal the skin because your latum. Oh, your dry skin will love this. Okay, going into the third moisturizer here is the La Roche Posay Intense Repair Moisturizing Cream. This one is a 13 ounce bottle. It's retailing for $20 and it has no fragrance so again great for my no fragrance lovers it's great if you have extreme dry skin though this is for people that are suffering from psoriasis or eczema you would love this product also has niacinamide which we already talked about amazing amazing ingredient and also rapeseed oil which again is just great for moisture levels in the skin so any of these products from target would work amazing as a moisturizer for 
your dry skin. Now moving on to our serums. Two serums here I'm going to recommend for dry skin. The first one is the Bliss Renew and Smooth Serum. This one is retailing for $24.99 for one ounce, which is a little expensive, but I think it has great ingredients uh, for your dry skin. This one is packed with vitamin E, niacinamide, hyaluronic acid, which is just great to give you an everyday glow and add on to what you're already getting from your moisturizer. Now, if you feel like you're getting too much niacinamide or it might be overwhelming, mind you, the first product is a cleanser. Even though it has niacinamide, depending on what cleanser you go with, it is a wash away product, so you should be fine having acid in mind in this product. Now, interestingly, this one also has glycolic acid, which is an AHA, which is great for removing excessive dead skin cells from the surface of the skin and maintaining that skin barrier. It also has licorice root extract, which is great for redness, irritation in the skin, as well as squalene. This is a squalene with the E and E at the end, not the A and E at the end. Unfortunately, the squalene with the E and E at the end is not an active form of squalene, which is more popular. Squalene with the E and E at the end is broken down into squalene to be active and actually do its work. So unfortunately, the form that squalene is in this product is not potent enough to work in the skin, so I wouldn't look at that. It also has willow bark extract, which is a plantarized form of salicylic acid. This is a really, really great moisturizer, but also it does have fragrance. So if you don't like fragrance, I would pass on this product. Next one, though, doesn't have fragrance, so you might like this one better. It's the Burst Press Restart Gentle Retinol Cream, and it's a one ounce for $21.99, so it's a little bit cheaper. It has this micro encapsulated retinol, which is pretty popular these days. The idea behind this one is that it doesn't release the retinol until it actually gets deep into the levels of your skin. A lot of research is still being done about this one so we can't say for sure but that's the idea behind it. We know that retinol is great for hyperpigmentation, improving the texture of the skin, renewing the skin barrier so this is a really really great ingredient that it has. It also has Bacuccio which is a plant derived form of retinol. It has shea butter, radish root ferment which is great for redness, irritation. This I actually kind of like better than the other serum so I would go with this one. But yeah, that's it for dry skin. These are all the products that I found that I really loved for dry skin from Target. I will link all of these products in the description bar. It'll actually be linked to my Amazon shop where I'll have all the products listed so you don't have to search all of the products in different places. I'll link all of them there so feel free to shop and I will make a little bit of a commission. So for oily skin, which is what a lot of my brothers and sisters have, people of color tend to have more oilier skin because we have more visible pores, shiny, greasy appearance, very common. Mine is on my forehead, T-zone, and on the sides of my nose. Me having large pores, prone to redness, pimples, blackheads, no dry patches like we saw in dry skin. Clearly, the sebaceous glands here are overactive and producing excess oils. So now I'm going to recommend things that are going to help with all of these issues that we face as people of color with our skin type. Mind you, the oil that our skin is producing helps keep us young, so don't ever feel bad for your skin type. All right, so starting with cleansers for oily skin. I'm going to recommend the La Roche-Posay Medicated Gel Face Cleanser for acne prone skin. This one is a six ounce water for $14.99. This one is fragrance free. It has salicylic acid, which is gonna help fight the acne. It's gonna help declog the pores to stop whatever bacteria that's wanting to form a pimple. The primary surfactant in this product is SLS. So if your skin can't handle SLS, which is sodium lauryl sulfate, it's a very strong. It's not very strong. It's just a really common surfactant. It's affordable for a lot of formulators so we tend to use it in a lot of formulas a lot of people find it to be irritating so if you're one of those people i wouldn't recommend this one but it does have salicylic acid like i mentioned and also has citric acid which is an aha although a more dormant aha though it also has menthol which is really soothing on the skin for moisturizer for people with oily skin i recommend the ole regenerous brightening vitamin c facial moisturizer this one retails for 28.99 for 1.7 ounces a little pricey but i really liked it for all of the benefits that it had so this one has vitamin c which vitamin c is great for firming the skin for brightness or even not skin tone vitamin c is bay okay it also has vitamin b5 vitamin b3 niacinamide which helps with hyperpigmentation even on skin texture and smooth out the skin you also find that there's alcohols in the ingredient list but these alcohols like i mentioned in my alcohol video if you haven't seen it i'll link it up here this alcohol is more of a fatty alcohol it's more of an oil with an oh group attached to it moving on to serums i really like this one by bliss it's the hydrating serum with hyaluronic acid is $20 for a one ounce jar. This one also has niacinamide, which is fine because it's not overwhelming. It's only two products so far that has niacinamide. It also has vitamin E, which is a great antioxidant. Helps get rid of free radicals that might be damaging to the skin. It also has a form of vitamin C called ascorbic palmitate, though not as potent as ascorbic acid, but it works just the same way. Also has licorice extract. It has soybean oil, which is a lipid, which is great for the skin barrier. It also has fragrance. So if you're not a fragrance person, 
you might want to not do this product but yeah that's it for products i love for oily skin all of these products will help target all of the skin issues that you're having and help reduce the amount of oils that's being produced because that's the most of the issue when it comes to oily skin moving on to combination skin a lot of people that have oily skin tend to also have combination skin it just happens that way for whatever reason a lot of times the t-zone is oily and you're using which is area from your cheeks down to your jaw area it tends to be a lot drier than your t-zone i don't know i can't explain it but anyways we're going to talk about combination skin and the remedies that i found at target that are help take care of that so for combination skin you're dry in some areas like i said in your u-zone and you break out easily mostly your t-zone area which if you notice you have a lot of forehead pimples if you have combination skin occasionally you have enlarged pores so let's talk about how we can take care of it starting with the cleanser i'm going to recommend this different daily deep cleanser with benzoyl peroxide it's retailing for ten dollars for a full ounce so that's a lot of product for not a lot of money the way bpo works it does the same thing that salicylic acid but the way it works is it kills the bacteria that actually causes acne it has a five percent bpo which is found to be non-irritating compared to the products that do have 10% BPO, 5% is that sweet spot that does the job but doesn't give you irritation or dryness. Mind you, benzoyl peroxide can be bleaching, so I wouldn't put it at night before I go to sleep. I probably put it in the morning before I go to work. So this product doesn't have SLS, so it's great for really every skin type. You shouldn't have find irritation with this product. I talked about surfactants in a video which I will link up here, somewhere up here. <laughs> if you haven't watched the surfactants video, definitely watch that so you can understand the surfactants a little bit better. So moving on to our moisturizer for combination skin. Uh, recommending two moisturizers today. The first one is this Versed Dew Point Moisturizing Gel Cream. It's two ounces for $14.99. I think that's a really great price for the amount of product you're getting. It's a lightweight moisturizer. It has squalene, which is the active form. It also has sodium ascorbic phosphate, which is a derivative of vitamin C. So it has some brightening properties in there. It has sodium hyaluronate to help hydrate those dry areas, you know, on your U-zone area that's dry. All in all, I really like this one because it's very light and it wouldn't pack on even more additional oil. All of the oils that it has doesn't have a high molecular weight where it would be clogging. It'll sit on your skin and give you really beautiful skin without clogging your pores. The next one I really like is one that you guys might actually like better. It's a Neutrogena Oil Free Face and Neck Moisturizer. So it has no oil in it at all. So if you don't want any oil at all, like me in the morning, I don't want any oil in my skin. This one is for $9.99. It's four ounces. That's a lot of products for $10. I like it but I do want to say that this one has parabens so if you're one of those people that vilifies parabens as a chemist I have found no problems with parabens but if you don't want parabens in your skincare then I would go with the first option now moving on to serums I really like this one also from verse called the stroke of brilliance brightening serum this one is one ounce for $19.99 I found serums to be more on the higher end for whatever reason it just was so I don't know what that is, but I really like this one because it has vitamin C, it had licorice root extract, it had niacinamide, it had ascorbophosphate, sodium hyaluronate, turmeric root extract. I mean, this serum is packed with a lot of brightening properties and a lot of ingredients that will keep the skin light without clogging the pores, but delivering the results that you're looking for. So I think this serum is a must have if you have the skin type. All right, let's move on to the last skin type. Like I said, this is not really a skin type, but it's a skin type that does develop over time after using ingredients that your skin just might might start to not like over time. The skin is sensitized like I mentioned. It might burn or stink, react really easily, get irritated, redness or flush really easily. So it's a really annoying skin type but I got you okay. I'm going to tell you guys what you can use to help not exacerbate this skin type. Starting with the cleanser. This is a pretty popular one that a lot of people and dermatologists recommend. is a Cetaphil Gentle Facial Cleanser. It's an eight ounce bottle for six dollars. Wow that's a lot of product for six dollars. I love it. This one has SLS. So if you don't like SLS I would not get this one and he also has parabens and you're asking why does he have all these vilified ingredients it's cheap okay if you want to get ingredients that are not sls or parabens you're gonna have to pay a little bit more that's just how it works these ingredients are some of the most affordable in the market and again like i said i don't have a problem with parabens or sls or any of those ingredients that are vilified so i think this is a great product and i do recommend it because it's very simple you know the ingredient list is very short so you're not worried about anything causing sensitivity or irritation because the reason why you probably have sensitive skin is because you are using a lot of these new ingredients that have not been studied as much as parabens and SLS. Moving on to moisturizer, I've been recommending two 
Day, the oil-free Neutrogena Daily for Sensitive Skin. This one is $9.99 for a 4 ounce bottle. It's oil-free, so if you have a bit of oily skin, you're not worried about even more oil on your skin. And then the second one is for $24.99. It's a 1 ounce bottle. It's the Oil Regenerist Micro Sculpting Cream. I like this one because it has niacinamide, so it gets some actives here. It also has sodium hyaluronate, and you guys already know what all of those things do, so I'm not going to keep repeating them. Elantoin. Elantoin is great for soothing the skin. It has parabens. I'm just saying this for people that care about that stuff, but I don't think it should be a deal breaker. So that's that. Right, moving on to serum. The serum I really liked is this one by Neutrogena, the Hydro Boost Hyaluronic Acid Serum. This one has just has a lot of hydrating ingredients, different forms of hyaluronic acid in this one, sodium hyaluronate. It has yeast extract. Primary purpose of this one is really just to get that skin hydrated. But yeah, that's it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I covered a lot of products because I really wanted you guys to have options. If you have a certain skin condition, I didn't want you to feel constricted or like, oh, I can't buy that because it has X, Y, and Z. You guys really wanted this video, so I'm happy. I'm able to get it out please like this video it took a lot of research a lot of putting together a lot of organization a lot of thought <laughs> you guys should already know this all of my videos are very well thought out but yeah that's it for this video i will see you guys in my next one don't forget to subscribe like the video share with your friends and family for those that love Target, like i do i'm sure you guys do too they can finally find a one-stop shop for all the skincare needs i'll see you guys next time bye